we are now in San Francisco. You know what that means? Parking is really hard. Actually, we're on our way to Alcatraz and if you're planning to go here, you might want to plan out your parking. We recommend for you to buy your ticket online and you can actually plan your hours on departure. On this pier, this is pier 33. This is the trip that goes and tour around the Alcatraz. There's two types of tours. The one that goes around the island and then the one that actually goes inside the island and you actually experience the Alcatraz experience. Before you get to the pier, you're gonna pass by a lot of street vendors, food vendors, so you might wanna try them out, but food is not allowed inside the pier. There's benches, but yeah, it's not allowed. So here we are at Pier 33, upon entering the pier. You can see the whole miniature island of Alcatraz. Boarding time, let's see if the legend of Alcatraz is really true, if it's really haunted, but first, my fear, waves. I'm scared of waves. We left the pier and we're heading to Alcatraz. And Seth's gonna throw up any minute now. The weather is not perfect, but San Francisco is known to have like weird weather. Here's a quick history about Alcatraz. It was taken over by the military because of its tactical advantage to protect the San Francisco Bay. But they found a better purpose for its location. They used it as a military prison to house a delinquent and disobedient soldiers. They made the soldiers to build their own prison. Imagine that, you're actually building your own prison. And then later on, it was converted into a federal prison that would house all kinds of criminals. I'm talking about tax evader, thieves, kidnapper, murderer, all kinds of delinquents and criminals during those time. <laughs> We are now on our way to the Cell House Auditor. This is the actual main tour on Alcatraz. They have an actual recording of the wardens and other prisoners and explain their day to day basis here in Alcatraz. We are now in the main building, the main prison, and this hallway right here points us to the shower area this is where the prisoner showers and I will tell you this I'm pretty sure this shower area doesn't have a hot shower so it's gonna be cold water pouring in your body and you know Alcatraz is a cold weather it's a cold island so it's pretty brutal and this entrance right here is actually where the tour starts in this area, they would give you the, a phone that you can actually pause, play, or even stop during the, the, the actual tour. And this is the line that basically you're going you're gonna to get given that phone. And you can actually pick which 
language you can actually want to listen to. So we picked English. Some of the people picked Spanish, Russian. Uh, I don't know their options, but we we got English. Anyway, uh, so just during this time, we were uh, thinking like, wow, imagine taking a shower here, cold shower, and just basically the beginning of a very terrible stay. These inmates, they are called by their numbers, not by their names. So we are going to the cutoff. The Alcatraz cell house opened as a federal prison in 1934. Within these walls lived the country's toughest, most dangerous, and most famous prisoners. This right here is what they call the Broadway. Imagine walking in here and just going through your own prison cell. And right here is the main setup of the prison. You got your bed, your toilet, a table, and a little sink. One person per cell. And just imagine and staying on just a small confinement like this. It will drive me crazy. Now we are going to the recreational area. This is basically the playground of the prison. And they go out here, get some sunlight. Even if it's really cold out, they would take it. Because they only go here around Saturday, Sunday, or holiday. So they take advantage of being outside, stretching their legs, and enjoying the sunlight. Even if it's really cold outside. They got Squid Game here. This area right here is called D Block. D Block prisoners are the worst of the worst kidnappers, murderers, thieves, multiple offenders. And uh, one of the prisoners here is Al Capone. He's like a mafia boss. And the prisoners from D Block are not allowed to go out. The only time that they're allowed to go out is when they're gonna go to shower or if they needed a medical attention this is the visitation area so the only time that you can talk to your family members or your visitors is just through these windows and we they have this hole that you can touch your family members or visitor if needed this is the jail cell of the famous Alcatraz escape uh, there is a handful of them that tried to escape the Alcatraz. No one knows that if they actually escaped or not. No documentation if they survive or not. But this is how they do it. They used a spoon to carve the, their, the wall and go to the heating uh, area behind their cell. So after they broke in, uh, broke out, I mean, from their cell. This is where they climbed up. It's like the prison break. Yeah. yeah. This is the Times Square. This is the dining area of the prison. And they also call this the gas chamber. So imagine, this dining area is full of murderers and killers. They can use any type of spoon plates cups as a weapon sometimes if a riot breaks out the prison guards are actually defenseless so what they do is activate a gas chamber to immobilize everyone including unfortunately including the prison guard uh, that's how dark this their area is and how dangerous it is this is the sample of the menu an everyday life here in Alcatraz and this is also the menu for the Thanksgiving here are some of the examples of rules and regulation here in Alcatraz so imagine if you're a prisoner here you got to follow 
multiple rules and regulation and of course there's always punishment if you disobey it after the main tour the audio tour you can walk around the island so i would highly recommend wearing a walk nice walking shoes because i was wearing a leather shoes this time it was not comfortable as you walk around the island you would notice this ruin right here it is the warden's house this is where they house their wardens and there is some of the high officer of the the, the prison guards and right here is the san francisco city and uh yeah like i said the, the island is beautiful you can actually enjoy walking around take a picture and enjoy the view there will be a ferry going back and forth from san francisco to alcatraz every 30 minutes so be mindful of your time if you want to go back early or just enjoy the time so that was it for today that was the trip for alcatraz mm -hmm. so uh i think if anyone asks me if it is haunted or not uh ghost ghost wise i don't think it is but i think it is haunted haunted by the past of the like previous negativity from the people who were there yeah. it was pretty heavy on me uh i don't know about you but it was heavy on me mm -hmm. uh, when we were walking around i went to one of the cell houses cell jail cell over there and then you can actually go inside and then experience how dark it is and it was pretty dark on, on my side i felt uh it's not I, i'm not gonna say it's hunted but i would say it's just heavy it's hunted by the negativity uh, that's my overall experience about it. How about you? You can see all those um, people suffering and I feel sad for them. But all in all, the view is beautiful. Uh, it, it is very educational. So if you're going to uh, bring a family, you know, like bring your kids there, that would be great. Because uh, it would be, uh, it's a little bit of piece of uh, piece of history. Yes. So And us. Uh, Alcatraz also offered the best view to the whole San Francisco Bay. Yeah. So. And if you're like a ghost enthusiast, I recommend to go there like at night because they also offer like night tours. That's the trip. All right. See you next time.